guys, it's Amber. Welcome back to my channel. This is George. Say hey, George. All right. <laughs> so as always, since I buy a million things a week, let's unbox them. Fall haul. Get it? <laughs> Shall we start with a little shopping spree? I think so. Oh yeah, yeah, baby. Let's see what we got today. Ooh, this is so cute. You guys know this is like my favorite store. <laughs> How cute. Great. I need some more fall clothes. Let's see. Y'all look amazing, ladies. So hot. This is kind of cool. Um, I love the fall colors, actually. I feel like brown is so she. Oh, whoa. That's kind of cool. Only problem with shopping here is I literally already own a lot of this. <laughs> what do you think, guys? I don't think so. All right, I have a dressing room full of everything there is, so. Woohoo! All right, guys, let's try them. This is pretty cute. Oh la la, schmeckshe. Mm, this one's okay. I don't love this one. It just like doesn't fit my boobs as good. Ooh la la! You guys know I love stuff like this. <gasps> hello, hello. Ooh, if I made this even a little bit shorter <laughs> with a nice necklace. This is so business chic, classy. Oh yes. You guys know I love a good milkmaid dress. I'm obsessed with this dress. I wear it literally all the time. I hemmed it though to be short because y'all know that's just more my vibes, but I like the navy. <laughs> it's kind of fun. All right, let's try this one. I love a good business lady moment. Oh, whoa! I didn't even realize. Look how schmecky that is. Hello. Work. It's giving very slutty secretary which is literally my favorite aesthetic. I was not a YouTuber. I would be a slutty secretary. <laughs> Hello. Ooh, ooh. I don't know why I don't like this. Not obsessed with it. Right. <laughs> Yay, thank you so much. Woohoo. <laughs> Bye. All right, kids, mission accomplished. Where to next? You know what's crazy? It is actually a beautiful day for October. It's like, look at this. Sunny palm trees, gorgeous day. I know this is supposed to be a fashion haul, but I don't care. I'm in the mall, I have to come to Bath and Body Works. Oh, it's a Hong Kong fall tradition. Nice. La 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 la. Woo woo. Y'all know this is where I get my yearly Uggs. <laughs> I get a new pair of Uggs every year. It is my favorite little fall tradition. And I get them in the kids section cause the cheaper, huh? These are kind of fun. So are these. I kind of like the glittery ones too, but I don't know. I don't think I want hot pink ones. These are the ones I got last year and I think they're actually still my favorite pair. Hmm. Okay, this dress is horrible, but the fabric is amazing. So I think if I do a little something something, <gasps> I get a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Killing it. Ta da! Time travel, so fun. Okay, so, George, you ready to show what we got? Okay. Obviously, I couldn't help myself. I know this isn't fashion, but pumpkin clove smells really freaking good. Ta da! I got some jeans on clearance from H&M. I actually could not recommend these jeans enough, you guys. These are like super duper stretchy almost like leggings. They just fit so good. They're like so stretchy and like just mold to your figure perfectly. <laughs> Obviously it's a little sexier when you forget to wear a bra, but you know, mm-hmm. From here. So one of my favorite things for fall is a good like mafia housewife look. I need to cut the tags off this. However, this is such a cute little like pinstripe suit, which I probably wouldn't wear with a white turtleneck. Usually, um, this actually looks cute just with the pinstripe skirt. Oh, more things for me. Okay, thank you. <laughs> what else did we get? Oh no. I got the pretty little black princess dress. Obviously, um, I was too lazy to like actually corset this on, so imagine it. But oh my God, this is a fire fit. <laughs> la la la. 
I also got the beautiful little navy blue version of this dress, um, which again, obviously I'm gonna hem because I don't like things that are this long. Are you judging me, George? <laughs> Anyways. And I got the spicy little brown tan nude set. <gasps> this is so cute. Hmm. George, you're sitting on mommy's hall. Excuse me. Beep, beep, beep. George Biscuit. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, you have to get up. Silly man. Okay, our first lesson of the day is going to be these white undershirts. Here's three different styles and why I like them. So we have the cropped sexy version. We have the tight bodycon professional version and the oversized oops, I slept with my boss and stole his outfits. I also have this mesh version, but this one's advanced, so I'll get to that one in a second. However, we also have the version that I'm wearing, which is just like, like the regular version. So, let's start the lesson, Georgie Porgy. Okay, so this shirt tucked in is good for kind of a classic professional look. These are also great for tying up if you wanna just, you know, go a little country. But what they're best for is layering. You can see I just put it under this little sweater. It kind of gives it the preppy little schoolgirl vibe and I love that. Both of these sweaters are from Amazon. They're actually the same sweater, but you can see they're like a nice little thick cable knit. This is the tight version of the little white shirt. I obviously left it unbuttoned because I just think that's a little spicier. I got a giant stain on it, but ignore that. This shirt is great for wearing on its own when you wanna do kind of like a spicier nighttime vibe, or again, if you're me, every day. By the way, this shirt, also Amazon, 20 bucks. This is the cropped version, which is good for everything that the other two are good for, just cropped. Like this works best for things like cropped sweater vests, which are also adorable for the fall season, by the way. And then of course my personal favorite, the Carrie Bradshaw dress version. I actually accidentally put this one in the dryer, um, so this one's too short to wear out of the house. But in general, you know, I stay loving this look. This is great for the, oh, I just woke up, you know? Easy and always foxy. You can't go wrong. Okay, so obviously this one is mesh, which is why I say it's a little bit advanced, but you can't wear this with nothing because of this. However, you guys were all obsessed with the outfit that I wore to the Prada Cafe, so cute. And that was literally just this shirt, this skirt, and a corset. Um, George Biscuit, did you sit on this? <laughs> okay, well, try to get one without dog fur all over it. But you can see all I did was put the corset on top of the skirt, layered the shirt underneath, and ta-da, voila, new fit. Have this undershirt in black too somewhere. Let's find it. <laughs> Grand tour of the hallway real quick. Ta-da, here we go. I'll also do the black version. Um, I actually think the contrast with the white works better for this particular look, but if you wore like a white corset and whatnot, this would be flames. So, my other favorite thing, aside of layering shirts, is accessories. Y'all already know I love hair bows. I literally use them in all of my aesthetic pictures. My favorite ones are these. I get these on, again, Amazon. I have a black one, a white one. I have a velvet one. I just love these. Of course, I always like to wear headbands too. I get these in giant chunks on Amazon as well for like nine bucks for 20 of them. Just a great way to instantly like make your outfit look a little vintage, which is my favorite aesthetic. <laughs> so cute. Not to mention, bows don't only look good in your hair, they look good everywhere else too. For example, I'll do something like this. Like instead of putting it in my hair, I'll clip it onto the front of my outfit and look at that. Also this little tweed one, which you guys know I love from Amazon also. Like, goodbye. Totally different look again. Okay, I know this is kind of weird, but something else I'm obsessed with is ties. Like, okay, work! I just love ties. I feel like they're so chic and sexy. I actually think men's fashion is really fun, so why shouldn't I get to wear it too? I love a good tie tucked into a corset moment. I also love a tie just free for all. The cropped shirt with navy, a little navy plaid skirt. Oh, I love it. Such a cute fit. I actually prefer to not have to tie them, mm -hmm. so I get literally kids ties, but <laughs> if you're a grown up and you know how to do this, good for you. If you're me and a giant teenage child, this might be for you. I love clipping bows on the front of my shirts too. Oh, so cute. You see, I just got another Amazon package delivered. <sighs> it never ends. <laughs> it's like sexy colonial Beethoven. <laughs> George, you look perfect on mommy's skirt. <laughs> oh, you look beautiful, honey. Okay. 
<gasps> chaos. All right. Okay, so in addition to my semi-fancy outfits, I love athleisure. If you're looking to like look pretty cute while not trying, this is the answer. I got a bunch of new stuff from a brand called Halara. Super cool, all women owned, like dedicated to, you know, empowering women and feeling your best, which you guys know I'm obsessed with. So I got a bunch of athleisure from there because I just heard it was the best and I wanted to try it out. Can you tell I've been having my like pink Barbie era lately? Okay, so this is all the stuff that I got. Um, So let's try some of it on, shall we? Okay, so these are the three different pairs of leggings that I got. So we have the Everyday Cloudful leggings, which are so soft with a nice thick band. And I had to try these too. These are pet hair resistant, high-waisted leggings. So I figured, you know, since George fur is all over everything all the time, I'd try this pair. Okay, wow, I am genuinely blown away right now. This is so nice. These are literally like the softest yoga pants I have ever worn in my life. I don't know how to show this aside of look at that. Do you see? That is like, it feels like skin. The wide band is so flattering too. It makes you just look very snatched and cute. And the top, my God. I actually love tops where you have like random thumbs exposed. I just think that's like fun, especially since I do a lot of crafts and things. Great shopping outfit or Trader Joe's fit, you know? Oh, so good. Very flattering too and thick material. Like, I don't know if you guys can see, but this is like a really nice ribbed um, kind of spandexy material. So it's very flattering and just looks really good. Hmm. So these are the cloudful ones. Let's try the pet hair resistant ones. Oh my God, do you guys see that? Look at that. No camel toe. Nothing. That's amazing. Anyways, okay, let's try it out. Georgie Poo. Oh, these are so cute and comfortable. Wow, these are like the most comfortable. I heard these were supposed to be like the most comfortable yoga pants in the world, but wow, they really are. Okay, George. You wanna you wanna work your magic? Oh wow. <laughs> wow, it works. Amazing. They even have little pockets on the side, that's nice. Okay, so we all saw that pic of Kylie Jenner, um, whether it was against our will or fully on our free will, like me, I, wow. <laughs> oh, of course I had to try a similar look. Like, okay, hot. Um, Obviously I don't have her ass, but still, Whoa! still kind of a foxy fit. I don't usually wear bell-bottom pants, however, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Swapped into the black top, the same one I was wearing earlier. So cute and comfortable. Maybe we all can be Kylie after all. Wear this to Trader Joe's, the club, mix and match. <laughs> the vibes are always hot. Also have some really fire cute little skirts too. This is so me in fourth grade coded. <laughs> I loved pink and black, my God, but so cute again. Got shorts underneath with a pocket. Very practical, but also super cute. It's like the little workout version of all the outfits I was wearing earlier. Oh, I love a good country club chic a moment. Wow, that was really cool cinematography. <laughs> it is literally one of my fantasies to be a little rich country club housewife. I would probably wear this more like this, you know me, but it's playing tennis all day and being hot, goals. Um, I'm actually probably gonna hem this up just a little bit because you know me I like things really short But this is amazing because it actually has support for my boobs, which is really rare So, you know if I'm just gonna like go to the grocery store or something real quick It's so nice to just throw something on no bra needed, you know, you're just ready This comes in lots of different colors by the way. So whatever floats your fancy they got you covered a huge shout out to Halara for sponsoring this video. I wish there was like feel a vision because this truly is some of the best athleisure I've literally ever tried on. And y'all know I have shopped a lot, so that's high praise. Everything is linked below if you want to shop. Mwah! Happy fall fabulosities. Okay, so back to some more sweaters. I am sure I've shown these before, but I love these little varsity neck sweaters. Like, these are just so casual and chill and everything I own has a giant stain on it. Uh, okay, so pretend you didn't see that. But yeah, these giant varsity sweaters are so great. I actually have an extra large on in this because you know me, I think this is a dress and oftentimes will wear it as such. But if you flip it under and put it with a mini skirt, obviously works probably better for most life situations, which by the way, I don't think I've talked much about skirts. So let's do a little skirt haul, shall we? 
I love this kind of pleated skirt. I just think they're so fun and girly and cutesy flutesy. I get most of these on Amazon and hem them. They're literally always so long and I like them to be so short. It's probably like 20 bucks at your local tailor to hem them up, so. There you go, huge thing. If it fits, it looks good. I said that in my OG little video, um, how to make cheap clothes look expensive, so. And something that fits well, because if it fits good, it's gonna look awesome, so. Buy cheap clothes and get them tailored to fit you, and they're gonna look like a million bucks. I know you guys, I did get the weird gold dress from Zara, but, oh, when I'm through with it, flames. Like I said, guys, alter your clothes. Makes a huge difference. Oh yeah, I have these in a bunch of colors. This is like a little gray tweed. Um, you can see it's like a nice, thick, heavy material. This one I actually got at Zara, but this is just like a little khaki one, my little blue one, black one. Again, covered in dog fur, my God. <laughs> just pretend you don't see that. I don't know. <laughs> I also have this sweater in black and like a thousand other colors. It is just, oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks for shopping, 333, three, three, you guys. Mwah, love ya. Um, Great, okay, anyways, I also have this sweater um, in lots of different colors. Said so cute, it's just like a great little um, casual throw it on vibes. Very unoriginal thought, but I like neutral colors for fall. Um, so if you're gonna get some staple items, I would definitely go with like beige, khaki, black, white, gray, maybe like a nice deep maroon jewel tone because those are just very nice for fall. They're just easy to mix and match, and when you have a bunch of like black and white clothes or whatnot, it's easy to mix them up and create lots of different outfits out of just a couple of things. Okay, let's migrate over to shoes real quick because fall shoes are some of the best shoes of the year. Ta-da! Oh, I love you so much, Closet. You're so beautiful. Okay, so. So I did not buy any new shoes for this video. Oh, jarring, I know, shocker. However, T. That is because for shoes, if you invest in some really fire fabulous ones, you literally basically never need to buy them ever again. So I'll show you my staple favorites and some dukes, but the three shoes that I think you need for fall are these. Mary Janes, pumps, and boots. Preferably very sexy thigh highs. <laughs> So obviously these are more expensive. These are Chanel, I love these. The idea of just a basic patent leather black Mary Jane shoe is fire for fall, mostly because they literally go with everything. Like they look so cute with little white socks. They also look fire with black tights. Like, hello, gorgeous. Like, so cute. Isn't this bag so cool, by the way? This is like a really rare vintage. It's called the Chocolate Bar Chanel. This bag is so cool. And that's what's cool about mixing cheap clothes and expensive clothes. My fancy shoes, you would never know this sweater was like $30. <laughs> Other pair of shoes you need are some classic black pumps. Because again, especially with tights, these just look good with everything. And last but not least, my favorite. Oh! <gasps> Boots. These are Jimmy Choo's that I got on eBay, and they are so sexy. I love boots that come really tight to your legs. This particular pair of boots, guess what? I also have an Amazon pair, literally. I think I've shown them in a haul before, but they're like identical. Literally exactly the same, look the same, but they're like $50. Also, something that might come as a surprise to you, by the way, random side note, I love turtlenecks which is literally so off-brand, I know, but turtlenecks are just such a sexy little thing to wear. I don't know why, but they are. Also, I forgot my other pair of shoes that everyone needs for fall. You gotta have some Uggs, guys. You gotta do it. <laughs> Uggs are not beautiful, but they're the most comfortable, fabulous boots in the world. The ultimate basic bitch accessory, you just pumpkin spice latte and Uggs. Ah. Speaking of Uggs, I didn't actually like any in the store, so I ordered some on Poshmark. <gasps> dun, dun, da, da, da. Brand new in the box. How stinking cute are these? Oh, hello. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. The cute little bows on the back. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with these. Gold Uggs is the new vibe. By the way, you guys, on the topic of tights, Tights are a fire accessory for fall, despite the fact that they look like ass just sitting here. You can make almost any outfit look super fun if you get some cool tights. I picked up some, um, these are clearance from Target, love that. Very similar to the tights I wore in my little viral um, Saint Laurent shoe pick. Good stuff, I'm telling you. Tights will make even a boring outfit like super fun and exciting. Remember my post from Paris? Ooh la la. Ooh, like polka dot tights, so stinking cute. Give your look like a vintage feel. 
and adds just a little spice to an otherwise ordinary look. From workout to luxury, my favorite thing to pair with workout stuff is a diamond. Got a couple of new things on 333, including the ring I'm wearing right now. Like we got the beautiful little emerald cut ring. Could you die? This is so beautiful. I'm obsessed with this one. And special for the holidays, a little heart-shaped one. Oh my gosh, obsessed with this. So beautiful. Oh. All on 333, happy shopping. Well, now that I've made a giant mess, I think that's the end of the haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy shopping, happy fall fashion fabulous ing. And um, I'll see you guys next time. All my love in the world, XL. La la la. Um, oops, <laughs> my nipples are out.